What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix an issue with Watch Dogs Legion that you could possibly be getting. If you try and play the game, and instead of it launching up, you get a VC Runtime 140.dll error, MSVCP 140.dll error, or a 0xC00 something or other error, then this video may be of help to you. Basically, your computer's having issues with the VC Runtime install. Don't worry, the game comes with these built in, and if that doesn't fix it, we'll be downloading it off the internet, installing and seeing if that worked. First of all, open up the platform that you have the game on. For me, it's Ubisoft. I'll click on the game, head across to the property section and then open folder. This will open up the folder containing all of the game files. For you, depending on the platform you own the game on, this may be slightly different. After doing that, open up the support folder over here and we have DirectX as well as VC Redist. These are both the redistributable folders that we'll be using for this tutorial. Simply open up DirectX, scroll down all the way to D and make sure to run DX setup as admin. Right click, runs admin. Hit yes when prompted for admin, we'll hit I agree, next, next, wait for DirectX to reinstall, and then when this is done, we'll hit finish. Then we'll head back a folder and open up VC Redist. Now inside of here, we have a bunch of dates. I'll start with the oldest one, 2012. Right click, run as admin. From here, you may see this. If you don't and you see the install button, simply click install. Otherwise, click repair and wait for it to finish. Then head back a folder, do the same for 2015 as well as 2017. After doing that, try and launch up the game again and see if it works properly. Hopefully at this point, it does and you don't get a VC runtime or MSVCP error. If you do for some reason still get one of those errors, we'll be manually downloading these off of the internet. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Microsoft's official VC runtime download list. It may be a bit confusing to get around, but I'll show you that now. When we get to this page, we'll see a bunch of dates listed. Under Visual Studio 2015, 17, and 19, we'll find two links here, x64 and x86. I'll right click on both of these and open them in new tabs. It'll download both of these installers and we'll run them one by one the same way that we did the VC runtime installers previously. If you see the repair option, click repair. Otherwise, if you see an install option, click install. Scrolling down a little bit, we'll look for Visual Studio 2013 VC 12.0. Locate the first link, right click, open link in new tab, and it'll be taken across to here. Scroll down and we'll see VC Redist 64. Locate English and click the link. This will download the 64-bit English installer. We'll scroll down further and we'll see VC Redist x86. Again, find English and click the link. This will download the 2013 version 12.0. Simply make sure to install both of those as we did previously. And then finally, we're looking for 2012. Click this link over here as it's the last one and the most difficult to get downloaded as you'll require a free Microsoft account. If you get to this point here and you don't have a Microsoft account, simply try and launch up the game and see if your errors are fixed. Otherwise, make sure to sign in. After signing in and clicking on the link once again, you'll see this over here, Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2012. Simply select x64, download, and then click the drop down once again and select x86, download. After doing this, simply install both of these as we did previously. Then launching up the game a final time, it should work properly without the VC runtime or MSVCP error. That's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.